promote yoga to stop smoking. For those of you that feel like you might not ever stop, this is a class for you. I understand it can be super challenging and some people just don't want to stop. So I've created a sequence that's mostly physical asana practice, so lots of embodiment and movement, just to make sure you let the blood flow and get into your body a little bit more. So let's get started at the top of our space. Come to standing, feet can be hips distance or uh, toes to touch. And we'll start with the left hand on the heart and the right hand on top of the left. Go ahead and close your eyes down. Start to rock the weight a little side to side. Maybe shift the weight forward and shift the weight back. Find your center neutral, so standing at attention, equal balancing pose. And we'll begin with an intention setting. So no matter where you land on the spectrum, whether you want to quit or you still intend to smoke for the rest of your days, I want you to connect to what that decision comes from or where that decision comes from. So let's begin standing at the top of our space. Let's bring the left hand to the heart and the right hand on top of the left. Go ahead and come to stand and close your eyes. Feet can be together or hip distance apart. Start to rock the weight a little forward, a little bit back, and maybe to the right and to the left. Just find your central neutral. And with hands at your heart space, I want you to feel the pulsation of your breath. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. I also want you to connect to your heartbeat beneath your palms. Notice your own life force, your own vitality, the prana that lives within you. And no matter where you land on the spectrum of smoking, I want you to connect to your reasoning why. You can always come back to this place of self-love and compassion Know that this mudra, this gesture of hands to heart is super therapeutic and supportive for you. So without offering too much judgment or criticism, just be here with your own mind, your own intention to smoke or to not smoke. Whatever it is, be here now and let's start our practice. Blink your eyes open, relax your arms down by your side. Let's inhale, sweep the arms wide up and overhead, reach to the ceiling. And very simply, just draw your hands through prayer position in front of your heart space. Good. Inhale again. Sweep your arms wide up and overhead. Reach to the ceiling, palms touch. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. Good. Maybe close your eyes now. Inhale, reach arms wide up and overhead. Urdhva Hastasana, upward hand position. Reach high. Exhale, draw the hands through heart. Samastitihi or Anjali Mudra in your prayer. Again, inhale, sweep arms wide up and overhead. Feel the vitality and life force coming through the lungs. And then exhale, feel a little bit more settled. Good, one more time and we'll take it into a fold. So inhale, root down, rise up, arms wide up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at your hips, bow down this time, forward fold Uttanasana. You can take your blocks out in front of you, hands to shins, thighs, or the blocks. Inhale, lengthen to a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back, long spine. Hinge at your hips, exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Again, please, inhale, flat back, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, hinge at your hips, bow down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Good, one more time, inhale, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, hinge at your hips, bow down, forward fold. This time, bend your knees enough so your hands can plant to the mat. And let's just step back into a kneeling position so you're on all fours. Good. We're going to sit back in a child's pose. So bring your knees wide and your toes to touch. And exhale, press your hips towards your heels. From child's pose, let's shimmy yourself forward and come onto your belly for a cobra pose. If the blocks are in the way, you can just move them to the sides. Press the hands and toes to the mat. Inhale, lengthen your front body long, cobra. And then exhale, lower down. Keep the feet and palms to the earth. Inhale again, roll the shoulders back, lift your heart up. Bhujangasana, cobra. Exhale and fold. One last time. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Draw the elbows into the center, lift your heart up. And then exhale, fold. From here, come on to hands and knees, tabletop. Keep your shins and toes parallel behind you. 
And we're going to do a little wave sweep. So we'll press back into a mock child's pose. Draw your right hand towards your right knee. And then you'll inhale, reach the right arm up and overhead. Big side stretch, like a wave crashing into the shore. You'll exhale, let the wave recede. Draw your right hand down towards your right knee. Again, please inhale, left palm presses down, right arm sweeps up and over. Exhale, draw it back. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, reach, right arm up and over, big side stretch. And then exhale, come back. Come back to tabletop to the left side. Inhale, left hand goes down towards your left knee, hips press back towards your heels. Inhale, sweep your left arm, big side stretch up and over. Good, keep it going. Exhale, left hand down towards your left knee. Inhale, left arm up and over, big side stretch, feeling into the body, and exhale. Good, one last time. Inhale, reach, and exhale, return to tabletop. Really nice. Inhale, cow pose. Melt your heart forward, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, press into your hands, round your spine, coil in, chin towards your chest. Again, please, inhale, heart goes forward, shoulders roll back, cow pose. Exhale, press down and round, chin towards your chest, coil in. One more time, inhale, heart goes forward, shoulders roll back. Exhale, pull up and back, cat pose. Nice. Inhale, come back through center. This time, curl your toes under. Lift your sitting bones high. Press your heels down for downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Inhale, cleansing breath. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Spread through the palms nice and wide. Inhale, lift your sitting bones high. Exhale, press the heels to the earth. Keep your arms super strong, legs super strong. One more breath in. One more breath out. <sighs> Bring the toes to touch. Inhale, right leg goes high to the sky. Stack the right hip on top of the left, bend the right knee and twist to the right. Three-legged dog. Inhale, right leg extends, straighten your right leg. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose, round your spine, step it through to your lunge. Good. Come on to your fingertips, then pivot to the left for skandasana. We'll bend the left knee, side lunge, straighten the right leg. Inhale, back through center, straighten both legs. Bend your right knee and straighten your left leg. Good, pivot over your right shoulder. Bring your hands now inside of your right foot. Walk your right foot out, drop down to your left knee. Here's where your blocks might come in handy again. You can take your blocks on either the highest setting and place your hands on the blocks or maybe drop down to your forearms. Or maybe you take the blocks a little bit lower. You can certainly stay on your hands again or drop down to your forearms. So I call this runner's lunge, where your right knee is over your right ankle, right toes root down to the mat. You can certainly keep your left knee down with your toes tucked under or flat, or maybe float the back knee up for a little bit more intensity. Couple breaths here. Notice the external hip rotation on the right side and the uh, extension of the left hip. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Good, one more breath. Let gravity do the work. If your back knee is elevated, go ahead and lower the left knee back down. Take your left hand onto one of your blocks. I highly recommend the block here. Take your right hand to the right inner thigh and twist to the right. Good. For Radha Krishna Asana, we're gonna soften the left knee, reach the right fingertips forward, up and around, and capture the left foot. And again, if you're having trouble grabbing the foot, Elevating yourself onto that block will help tremendously. Good. So we'll press the hips forward, twist to the right as you inhale, and then exhale, draw the heel towards your seat, soften your left elbow, and bow over yourself towards the earth. Good, two more. So you'll inhale, press back out of it, add a little bit of twist and rotation in the heart, and then exhale, draw the heel closer towards your seat, and fold over the mat. One more time, inhale, twist to the right. And exhale, draw the heel towards your seat and fold. Release the left foot without catapulting it out. And then walk the right foot over towards the left wrist, coming into half pigeon. Right knee towards your right wrist. The shin can be parallel with the front edge of your mat or you can draw your heel closer towards your groin, yes. If you feel like your right hip is elevated, you can add the block beneath your right hip for a little bit of cushion, 
or just let it hover in the air. Good. Curl the back toes under, lift the back knee, and then send it back to the back of the mat. Lift your heart up, inhale, and then exhale, come forward for sleeping pigeon. You can lower onto your hands, your elbows, maybe even take one of your blocks and rest your forehead on a block. That feels pretty therapeutic. So breathe here, similar to where you were in runner's lunge. Your right hip draws back and your left hip draws forward and you let gravity take you into a deep fold. Breathe, inhale. Extend the exhale. Two more rounds on your own. Slowly climb back up onto your fingertips. We'll soften the back knee, rock over onto your right hip, and then we'll swing the left leg around for a seated spinal twist. Your left foot is gonna come outside of your right knee. Some people feel comfortable with their right knee bent. You can also extend the right leg straight out in front of you, which is what I've been enjoying lately in my practice. Take your left fingertips behind your left hip. Inhale, right arm goes to the sky, and then exhale, big twist, right elbow outside of your left thigh. Press into your sitting bones, lengthen the spine as you inhale, and then exhale, draw the navel to the spine, exhale to the left. Two more, breathe into the side ribs, inhale, stretch, side body's long, exhale, rotate to the left. One more time, big breath in, and big breath out, maybe this time gaze all the way over your left shoulder. Good, come back through center, uncross your legs, and now rock and roll, forward and back, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Massaging the muscles on your backside. And then come to seated, cross your ankles, plant the hands, and we'll just make our way back into downward facing dog. Cleansing breath, please inhale. And let it go, exhale. Toes together, left side. Inhale, left leg goes high. Externally rotate your left hip. Bend the left knee, twist to the left three-legged dog. Inhale, extend your left leg straight. Exhale, step it through left foot to your left thumb. Come on to fingertips, pivot to the right. Please bend your right knee and straighten your left leg, skandasana. Inhale, back through center, straighten both legs. Bend the left and straighten your right. Good. Pivot over your left shoulder for runner's lunge. Bring your hands inside of your left foot. Drop down to your right knee. Again, the props, the blocks might be helpful here, especially if you feel a little bit tighter from right to left or left to right. So hands high on the blocks or maybe a little bit lower, maybe onto your hands or your forearms. You can stay here or curl your right toes under and float the right knee up. Good. Extend the heart forward. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale, a couple more breaths. Maybe notice the variance, the differences from right to left. So do you need a little bit more external hip rotation on the left side or perhaps a little bit more power and extension on the right side? You do you and do what's best for you and your body. Two more breaths. On the exhale, release the right knee. Climb your block, climb back up onto your blocks. Take your right hand to one of your blocks and take your left hand to the left inner thigh. Twist to the left, good. If you obviously don't need the block, you don't have to use it, but I like it for a little bit more mobility. Now bend the right knee, reach your left fingertips forward up and around, capture the outside edge of your right foot. Press into the block, inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, draw your heel towards your seat, bend your right elbow, bow over yourself. Two more, inhale, so this is an honoring, opening the chest, and then exhale, bowing in to your own strength, reference to the earth. One more time, inhale, twist left, expand. Exhale, heel towards your seat, and fold. Good, release. This time, pigeon pose. Walk your left foot over towards your right wrist. Drape your left knee down to your left wrist. 
good. Widen the blocks out as much as you need. Curl the right toes under for a moment. Lift the right knee and inch it back. Again, if you want the block beneath your outer left hip, you're of course free to add that. Stay on fingertips, lift your heart up, inhale, exhale and walk it forward. Hands, forearms, elbows, sleeping pigeon. Again, if you want a little bit more support, take the block beneath your forehead and rest. Know that the block has three different levels. There's many options for you to choose from here. Remember to just surrender. You're mindfully breathing through the nose and out of the nose. If you're having trouble with that, you can certainly exhale out of the mouth. Climb back on up. Again, soften the right knee so you can rock over onto your left hip as gracefully as you can. Swing your right leg around. Ardha Matsyandrasana, seated spinal twist. So right foot will cross outside of the left knee. Again, left knee can be bent or left leg extends straight. Sit up nice and tall, nice regal spine. Right fingertips behind your right hip. Inhale, left arm reaches high. Exhale, twist, left elbow outside of your right thigh. Press into your sitting bones, inhale, lengthen. Draw navel to spine, exhale, twist. Again, press down, rise up, inhale. Exhale, twist. One more, breathe in, inhale. Keep the rotation going, maybe exhale over your right shoulder. And then come back. This time we'll just set up for Sukhasana, easy cross-legged position. So if you do want a little bit of elevation, you can certainly take one of your blocks beneath your sitting bones and sit up nice and tall. One shin in front of the other, it doesn't really matter which one. And we're gonna end our practice with a brief seated meditation. So if you're unfamiliar with meditation, just know that the physical asana practice, what we just did, some embodiment and movement, was actually used um, to prepare us for a seated meditation practice. So now that you've moved kind of the issues through your tissues, you get to recognize how truly amazing it is that you woke up this morning, that you got out of bed, that you were capable of all that you already 
did before you watched this video and then all that you did throughout this video and then all that you're going to still accomplish for the rest of your day. Honor that. Honor what your body has gifted you. Honor its strength, its vitality, its wholeness. And come back to the intention. Come back to your breath. Come back to the present moment. A few moments in silence for you to enjoy. feel comfortable you can certainly stay here in seated meditation for a little bit longer if you'd like to join us for a final shavasana go ahead and scoot yourself up off of the block if you have one uncross your legs try to keep your eyes closed scoot your hips towards your heels and then roll on to your back extend your arms extend your legs roll the shoulders down your back close your eyes and surrender, final stillness, Shavasana. you are ready to release out of it, start to find energy back in your fingertips and toes. If you're still in seated meditation, you can just wait for us to finish. The rest of you will extend the arms by the ears and your toes out in front of you. Take a full body stretch and then soften the knees. Roll over onto your right side, allowing your head and neck to rest in your right arm. From there, press down through your top hand and slowly come on up to a comfortable seat. We'll meet the rest of our yogis in a seated meditation. 
Sukhasana, easy posture, and we'll both all bring our hands again to our heart. So left hand on top of your heart, right hand on top of your left. Again, I'd like to acknowledge your own practice today for sticking with us, for working into your bodies and embracing your breath. Offer yourself that same bit of gratitude and appreciation. And we'll bow our chin towards the chest and repeat, Namaste. Namaste.